in its bid to ensure that every community in the state feel the impact of his administration and get proper government intervention, the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu has approved the construction of rural roads to connect and link communities in the state. Speaking at the year 2020 ministerial press briefing organized by the state government as part of activities to commemorate the first anniversary of Governor Sonwolu's assumption of office, the Commissioner for Local Government and Community Affairs, Dr. Wali Ahmed, wrote this out while giving account of stewardship of the ministry in the last 365 days. There is a lot of relationship and many areas of interface between the state government and the local government and the local council development areas. Administration and coordination of that relationship is a major responsibility of this ministry. We also relate on behalf of government with community development associations, over 4,000 of them. Through these community development associations, we do a lot of things silently. Various projects are currently ongoing in community agriculture, rural electrification, rural water projects, and some rural roads, which Mr. Governor has kindly approved to be constructed to link communities to ease movement of goods and services, and by extension, to provide employment opportunities and betterment in the lives of Lagosians in general. Earlier this year, the Sanwo Luz administration introduced what it termed One Community at a Time initiative. The idea of this initiative is to ensure that private organizations contribute largely to the development of Lagos communities through their corporate social responsibilities. The One Community at a Time was conceived before COVID ever came around. So really, the essence of one community at a time is to ensure that government integrates its activities in a particular community, you know, such that in that community you have primary schools, you have secondary schools, you have primary health care, you have, they have their roads, they have drainage, and we know that government alone cannot do it, and that the sanitation is there. We have recreation centers where children can play around, you know, and you know, so that it's a, it's a living community. And because we appreciate that government cannot do everything alone, we have been uh, um, engaging um, uh, companies for their corporate social responsibility so that they will partner with government so that we can actually have that kind of development. I wish to emphasize the present administration's commitment to mobilizing our communities towards an effective and purposeful development in the state. In the last one year, we have registered 35 new CDAs. We celebrated the 2019 edition of the Yale Community Day in November 2019. The Community Day is a forum that provides the various CDAs from across the state the opportunity and platform to showcase their activities, achievements, present their self-help projects, and so on. And also an opportunity to present whatever challenges they have. It's a listening forum for them. It's a two-way forum. For example, the 2019 one, Mr. Governor himself was physically present, and it was an interactive section, and they were able to present their problems. At that forum in 2019, three outstanding CDAs were presented with brand new 18-seater bus each, and others were presented with cash gifts as consolation prizes for the various self-help projects they have financed, initiated, and carried out to completion in their communities. It is a way of uh, government trying to encourage them and showing recognition for them.
also speaking at the event, the Commissioner for Special Duties and Intergovernmental Relations, Engineer Tayo Bangboshe Martins, appeals to all CDAs in Lagos State to help sensitize residents of the need to collaborate with emergency responders. We have meetings with the communities and the CDAs. Uh, we do that in collaboration with the CBD, we do that in collaboration with the local government, we do that in collaboration with civic engagement, and we do that in collaboration with so many other agencies like that. It's just uh, the need to continue to enlighten and educate our people. Oftentimes, um, such negative habits or reactions from them uh, is premised on ignorance. And um, it's, never, it's not unfounded, really. You know, at times they are angry. They are angry that uh, you know, disasters like that has befallen them. It's not a good feeling. But then what we need to do is to keep reassuring them that they have a government. And the government is always there to ensure their safety. And God forbid, when this happens, we will be available to take care of their needs, their welfare, as the case arises. Dr. Wale Ahmed thank the chairman of local government and local council development areas in the state for their support to the state's government in leading the fight against the novel coronavirus. Through this ministry, Lagos State carried out fumigation and sanitization of all the nooks and crannies of the state. We have in each local government a whole department of environmental health officers. They are already trained in handling fumigation and sanitization. So Mr. Governor directed we take advantage of that and we use them. And I want to commend at this juncture all our local government chairmen. You will see in the pictures some of them personally put on the personnel protective equipment and carried the handheld sprayers that were supplied by Mr. Governor to commence the sanitization program by themselves. And I assure you, it's still ongoing. If you know any place where we still need to touch, just escalate that to me. I will direct the people who are supposed to go there.